Thank you. Uh, I represent Associated Press of Pakistan. Uh, my question is that China has made great achievement in poverty alleviation, but we also can see some ongoing dispute over this issue. Some one questions that China's current poverty alleviation standards are lower than the international standard and thinks that China will face the challenge of preventing people from slipping back into impoverishment. So what is your comment? Thank you. Pakistan在脱贫攻坚方面取得了巨大的成就，同时也存在一些争议。有人质疑中国现行扶贫标准低于国际贫困标准，也有人认为中国面临着反贫的挑战。对此，您有何评论？谢谢。这前些天啊，
including bridges, roads, electricity, and internet services. These steps have changed the way of life and work of the poor population and opened the door toward prosperity. Our farmers out of poverty have felt, have felt a concrete sense of gain and happiness. As I said, government departments have invested hugely in poverty alleviation. Take housing, for example. You need to expand for relocation and new construction of houses. These are the concrete deliverables of our poverty alleviation cause. CPPCC members are engaged firsthand in poverty alleviation and carried out field studies on its progress. Our members believe that China's poverty standard is high and substantive. You also asked about whether there will be return to poverty. This is a task that we must fulfill. China's development remains unbalanced and inadequate. The task to consolidate and expand the gains in poverty alleviation remains arduous. Members called for earnest efforts to deliver on the CPC Central Committee's major decisions to build on the gains in poverty alleviation and fully advance rural revitalization. They stress the importance of overall stability in policy support and sound monitoring and support to prevent returning to poverty. We have a full-fledged monitoring system. We must make them up and running. They underlined the need for continued support for previously poor regions to help develop and strengthen rural industries and continued support for previously poor populations to ensure stable employment. They highlighted the need for sound follow-up assistance to relocated populations to prevent substantial return to poverty. To consolidate poverty alleviation results, the National Committee has carried out a lot of work. In August last year, Chairman Wang Yang presided over a National Committee meeting in Gansu to oversee the handling of key proposals on consolidating poverty alleviation gains in the Western region during the 14th five-year plan period. At the meeting, CPPCC members and the leading officials of the relevant State Council departments engaged in consultation and discussion on the key challenges in consolidating poverty alleviation results. Such work played an important role in policy making. This year, the National Committee will continue to organize special consultations and inspection trips on this front, enable sustained development and prevent return to poverty, allow populations and regions out of poverty to grow in a sustained way and contribute to the realization of rural revitalization. Thank you.